in this section we are going to learn about get elements by tag name previously we have seen get element by id and also get elements by class name and also we have seen a simple project if you have not watched that i suggest you to watch that so that you will understand the key concept in those selectors so now we are going to see about get elements by tag name and it is also one of the way to access the dom and this method what it will be doing it will be searching through all the nodes and finding those with a specific tag name suppose if i am having two h1 then it is going to select both the h1 as it is searching all the nodes what happens the performance will be very heavy due to which the javascript engine has to do more processing work so if you really need this one then you can use get elements by tag name if you are having only one tag or two tags then it is fine or else you can go with other selectors we have get element by id get elements by class name any one of those selectors you can use and you can get your result but in this get elements by tag name the performance will be very heavy because of so much of processing and also in the same way how get elements by class name was returning live html collection this will also be returning live html collection and it is not an array okay we have already seen why it is not an array it just looks like array but when we try to apply all the methods which are available to array we will not be able to apply and also we cannot use for each loop to loop through all the collection i have opened my visual studio code and previously we have seen all this code so this is messy now what i will do i will just change this name i will write here underscore one here i will create index dot html and from here i'm just going to copy the entire code and inside this i will be pasting it now what i will do i will just remove all these things i do not want to mess up with all this data now we are going to only discuss about get element by tag name as i have told it will be looping through all the tags whatever tags i am having it will be looping through all the tags now this is our get elements by tag name inside this i have h3 i have diff container inside which i am having this bold text finally i am having paragraph inside this also i am having this bold text now if i use get element by tag name for my paragraph let's see what happens i will just open this using live server we will create one variable element element tag is equal to to access any of the selector we have to use this document object i'll just decrease and here i'm just going to write document document dot get elements by tag name here we are having multiple selectors i am just going to select get elements by tag name inside this i am just going to pass the paragraph now if i just do log and inside this i am just going to display element tag i will save this i will open console now inside console if you see i am having html collection of two you can see i got html collection of two paragraphs now if i just hover on this let me just decrease if i just hover on this paragraph you can see this paragraph the first one are you enjoying me are you enjoying learning html and also if i just hover on this second paragraph let me just hover on this i will scroll down this one is using this get elements by tag name you can see both the paragraphs i have got as my result now if i open this below this we will be having one property inner text and inner html in both which our content is displayed this is for first paragraph are you enjoying this and for second paragraph also our content will be displayed get elements by tag name you can see accessing element and inside which i am having bold text 
and here I am having get elements by tag name. You can see the difference for inner HTML tags are also displayed, but for inner text, this tags will not be displayed. So inside my entire project, I am having one paragraph and inside this get elements by tag name, I am having another paragraph. So you can see both the paragraphs will be displayed. Now inside this get elements by tag name, I will just change it to h2 everywhere. h2 and h2. Okay, now totally, let me just write here h2 and here also I will write h2. Now totally three h2s I am having, one, two and three. So all the three h2s should be displayed. I will write here h2 and also let me just change this one because I have done control z. So that is gone. Element tag, save. Now you can see HTML collection of 3H2. Inside which if I open, inside inner text and HTML, the content will be displayed. So due to which it is not bothering where we are having this H2. Now suppose if I just wrap inside one diff container. Here I will write one diff. And inside this I will write H2. I am new. I will save. Now you can see HTML collection 4. No matter where I am having the tag, all the tags it is going to collect and it will be returning as HTML collection. Now if I just want to change the color, let me just write here element, element tag and I want to change the color of, let me just write here style dot background, background color I will just write here orange. Save this, I will be getting this error because we have already seen when we are writing this HTML collection, each and every element which it has returned, it will be having the index number. So to access that, we have to use index number. Now suppose if I just write here element tag of 0, I will save this. First H2 which is accessed by this one, let me just open. This is my zeroth index and inside this I am having this content. We will use attribute tag for that the background color will be changed. This is very simple to understand. If I want to change all the colors of H2, then I have to wrap inside for loop. We cannot use for each loop because it is not an array. I is equal to 0. I is less than my element tag dot length. Then I just want to increase the value of i, i plus plus. Inside this, I will copy this entire thing, comment it out. I will paste. Now instead of 0, I will just write here i. And also I will change the color to red. I will save this. And here my condition is getting filled because 0 is not. I have to give here less than. Save. Now, wherever I am having H2, you can see this I am new. All the H2s will be changed using red color. So, this is same. Okay, the same process we have done. How we have done for get elements by class name. But class name will be selecting particular class. But this tag name will be selecting the tags. Okay, we have already seen what tag means. This is called as opening tag. And this is called as closing tag. So, these are called as tags. How many tags I am having inside my project? Everything will be selected using this get elements by tag name due to which our performance will be very heavy. If you think that you do not want to use this selector, then you can just ignore this because we are having multiple other options to select the particular element inside HTML. That's all for this session. Next, we are going to learn about query selectors.